really, you know, kind of wicked to see. Um, so I, I guess, even though I think you've touched on this a little bit, um, but what motivates or what, what's your inspiration for each little project that you do? For the most part, it's, it's just on a whim, you know. Um, maybe I'll see something that I thought was cool and I'll try and improve it. That's one of the greatest things about the Minecraft cult, uh, community is that everybody shares ideas. Everybody, like, uh, I've jumped on YouTube a number of times and I've seen people doing um, building tutorials and they share their ideas with people and nobody hesitates to say, hey, you know, if you can improve on this, by all means, go ahead. When I take somebody's build, I never just build it exactly the same way that they built it on the, on the, the tutorial. More, uh, almost all the time, I will change things to suit, you know, my needs or to suit what I think uh, the thing should look like. Uh, even if it's just changing what, what material the structure was made out of. That, that's actually pretty awesome. Um, I, I've seen some wicked, you know, videos and tutorials of Minecraft out there. And I've always been bl blown away by not just what select people can do, but the amount of people who actually do all this stuff. Uh, it's absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah, there are certainly a lot of uh, very talented builders out there. And, um, you know, that's, that's why I, I, I don't necessarily take offense to you calling me a master builder. I just I don't think I'm there yet. Oh, it, it certainly sounds like you are on your way to getting there. Uh, I guess our last big question here is, uh, what's the next big project you know that you're planning, other than, of course, uh, expanding or creating another space station? Is there anything else that you're you know, kind of in the midst of you know, working on or considering putting together? Uh, well, anybody who knows me, anybody who's seen me uh, or, or jumped into my, my minigame uh, world, they know that I have a Sky Wars game. Uh, Sky Wars is a game that I only just learned about. I jumped into a world with my friend Xavier, and uh, he was adamant. He, he knew exactly what it was. He, he saw it from, I don't know, 100 blocks away or 200 blocks away. It was a really big minigame map that we were involved in, and he took one look at me. He's like, oh, my God, that's Sky Wars. That's Sky Wars. we got to get down there. we got to play. And he was very excited, so I... I decided to try my hand at Sky Wars, and uh, I posted some pictures on my Facebook page. I think it turned out really well. I'm very proud of it. Uh, but my next thing that I'm actually in the middle of working on is uh, Sky Wars version 2, which is going to be a little bit different. Um, every Sky Wars map that I've seen so far is eight floating islands floating around a central island with, you know, uh, really awesome weapons or really valuable minerals or whatever, what have you. My version 2, like I said, is going to be a little bit different. Instead of floating islands, it's actually going to be eight airships uh, with great big, great big balloons holding, holding the, the ship up into the sky, and they're all going to be floating around a like kind of a dock and it's going to be it's going to have kind of a steampunk feel to it um or like a hot air balloon feel uh i don't know exactly how to describe it but i'm, I'm hoping it'll turn out good uh, that that definitely sounds like it's going to be uh quite entertaining absolutely Okay, um, you know, thank you for... Oh, you won. I actually do have one last question. You got one more last question. Uh, okay. Because I, I do know you are a huge Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Yes, um, yeah, I do play... I, I haven't played in a while, but uh, yeah, I do play Yu-Gi-Oh, yeah. Ha have you ever considered any Yu-Gi-Oh um, styled, you know, designs? At least, you know, maybe not now, but in the future. Um, I hadn't actually thought of it, but 
now that you mention it, I, I can think of a couple uh, just off the top of my head. I, I definitely think you know, from someone who is you know, or, you know, who is a, a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, you would actually be the perfect person to design uh, a world like that, and it would be really exciting to see. Um, well, I've definitely seen um, a lot of people who play Minecraft, especially people who play Minecraft Creative. They like to do uh, pixel art using their Minecraft, and they'll they'll go into Creative and they'll fly around and they'll place blocks in such a way that they can draw. They can basically draw with Minecraft. They can, you know, uh, make a Millennium Eye, or they can draw Kaiba, or they can draw Yugi. I've seen I've seen stuff like that uh, on Google when I when I type in, you know, Minecraft pixel art. Wow. Uh, as far as as far as just simply making my, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh statues in Minecraft, I don't think that's something I'm going to be doing. But I could probably see myself somewhere down the line, probably throwing some kind of Yu-Gi-Oh tribute uh, mm-hmm. into one of my Minecraft worlds somehow. You know, I I definitely think that would be an awesome thing to see. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it is time for us to kind of wrap up the show, so we want to thank you for coming and joining us uh, here on the, the podcast uh, this evening. Uh, where can people go to find out more about you and your Minecraft creations? Uh, well, they can find me on Xbox Live, obviously. Uh, thank you. Thank you, uh, Microsoft, for giving me the handle Blinking Fiend. I think it suits me very well. Um but yeah, they can they can certainly find me on there. Uh, my friend list isn't full yet, so they can add me if they want to. Um, or they can also find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash blinkingfiend. Which definitely has a lot of pictures. Yeah, quite <laughs> a few. Uh, we posted a couple on our Facebook page. Uh, as this is a pre-recorded uh, podcast, we are going to go off. And before uh, this episode airs, we are going to go off. And we're going to probably post a few more both on our Twitter and on our own Facebook page as well. Uh, again, we'd like to thank you for joining us on the show tonight. Really appreciate you coming on. Uh, it's time for us to go off and get our own shameless plugs in as we go along. I don't want to. Oh, then that's too bad. You can follow <laughs> us on Twitter. You can follow this goofball here at Real C-A-P-T Fizz. So that's at Real, Real Captain, Captain Fizz. Fizz. You can follow this local fellow at that mask guy. Follow the show at Fizz Mask Show. You can find us on Facebook. Just search for Captain the Fizz and the Mask Man. Uh, and you know, better yet, why don't you go to our website, www.fizzmaskshow.com. Dot com. And on there, you will find a ton of pictures from from the conventions that we've went to over the years, including uh, some uh, pictures that I think that we were taken at. Uh, Acon's Winterfest not that long ago. Yes, uh, it's been a little slow of adding some more because I was forced to take a vacation and I really haven't got back from my vacation. Uh. Yeah, yeah, we'll go at that. You were working too hard. I made you take some time off. Time to get back on the horse and, you know, get going a little my bit. Horse, my horse ran away. Uh. <laughs> so, guys, thank you for um, you know, listening to the show. Thank you once again, Blinken Field, for joining us. Blinken Fiend. Yes, thank you. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, you're very welcome. And uh, so, uh, time for us to go. So, in the meantime, and in between time, good night, God bless, and may the force be with you. Stay frosty and build on. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>